Hello, my name is Eric Wolken and welcome to my video series exploring some of the techniques I use in creating some of my furniture and sculpture. Hopefully you'll be able to use some of these techniques in creating your own work. The first video in this series is going to explore techniques in freeform wood bending and lamination. And by freeform, I mean building without making a jig, mold, or fixture. Now the advantages of this, of course, are one, you don't have to spend the time and materials in building a jig, but you can also get some significantly more interesting and organic shapes by bending not using a jig. So an example of this is this sculptural fish I built not too long ago, and we are going to use this as an example for today's exercise. So this fish is built from eighth inch Baltic birch plywood and walnut veneer. The starting point for this sculpture is I'm going to make a simple template out of, out of cardboard. I've sketched my fish on cardboard and now I'm going to transfer that fish onto some Baltic birch plywood. This is eighth inch Baltic birch plywood. It's a fairly common item at your hardwood lumber store. Uh, if you can't, if you don't have a hardwood lumber store, this can commonly be found on Amazon. So you can see that in short pieces like this fish, this isn't necessarily that flexible. Now, if I were building a bigger sculpture, you can see I can get a fair amount of flex out of this piece before it's going to break. So what I've done for this sculpture actually is I pre-cut all of my pieces and then soaked them in water for about an hour. You can see I've got a fair amount of flex in them. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to pre-bend these pieces and then let them sit for about 24 hours and dry out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take my pieces and I'm just going to sort of flex them and just get a, start to get a general shape that I like. I'm going to just take some twine, loop it around, Just start to bend it. And just sort of tie it off. It's been 24 hours and the bends on our laminations for our fish sculpture are very nicely set up and now we're ready for the next step in the process. I have pre-cut some cherry veneers and we're going to attach them to the front and the backs of our sculptures and we are going to glue them up in the vacuum press. Now for a vacuum press I have a very simple low-tech vacuum press. You can spend thousands of dollars on a vacuum press but this vacuum press, which is called a Roar Rocket Thin Air Press, is about $100 and is a great way to start experimenting with vacuum veneering, shaping, and forming. This is a manual vacuum press, so it's evacuated with a manual vacuum pump, which is provided with the press. And as I said, it's a very simple, low-tech way to start vacuum veneering. So using Typhon 3 and a foam roller, we've applied an even coat of glue to one side of each piece of our fish and we've assembled it all into a package using blue painters tape. The idea is to keep it all together so it doesn't ship once we put it into the press and it also make it easy to take apart without leaving any tape residue after it's dried and we're ready to start finishing it. So the last thing to do is to put a piece of what's called breather mesh which is supplied with your Roar Rocket press and the idea here is so that the air gets evenly evacuated around your your item and it doesn't get stuck to the valve. So now we're going to place it in the press. I'm going to put it right over the valve here. And then I have a modified closing device for my Roar Rocket Press. You can see many examples of this on the internet. This is not the standard Roar Rocket closing mechanism. This allows me to actually use only a portion of my bag and not have to evacuate the whole bag. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to pull my one-way valve off of my press and as I said, I'm going to assist evacuating the bag with my shop vac. 
here we go. And also, if I want to, I can get some extra shape into my item as I evacuate the air out of the bag and continue to shape it some more. Okay, I think I got something I like here. I'm gonna quickly remove this, put the valve back on, and continue to evacuate the rest of the air out of the bag with my vacuum pump, with the manual pump. I'm gonna take a few pumps, Now we've got all the air out of the press, and I'm going to let that sit up and cure for about two hours. It's about the amount of time the Type Bond 3 needs to cure in the vacuum press. I'm going to check the bag every 15 minutes just to make sure I'm not losing pressure and take a few pumps out of it with my manual pump. And then we'll check it in a couple hours and be ready to complete our project. It's been two hours and we've removed our fish from the vacuum press and we've removed the blue tape. And you can see that we've got a really nice, pleasant, organic shape. It looks like this fish is definitely ready to take a swim. So what we need to do now is the final shaping. I'll probably do that with some pattern maker's rasps and some sandpaper and clean it up. I'll put a little eye here as I've done in my other fish. And then we will apply some oil or lacquer to it. But this is basically a nice little intro in what you can do with freeform bending in a vacuum press. Thanks for watching.